Area module and color mapping are two very powerful tools that can take hardness testing to a whole new level. These features are available on Duramin 40, Duramin 100 and Duramin 650 hardness testers. In this video, we will learn step by step how to obtain a hardness color map. We will perform the test on the cross section of a welded sample. It is not etched, so we cannot see the different zones of the sample, like for example the heat affected zone or the weld. But thanks to hardness color mapping, we will be able to identify those zones in a simple and automatic way. First we create a new job by clicking on the plus button. We give it a name and select an objective. All these fields can be edited at any time by clicking on the E button. Then we choose a testing method and a load. In this case, Vickers 5 kg force. In order to speed up the process when using the contour scanning function, it's recommended to select the smallest magnification lens available in the turret, in this case 2.5 times. Also, just for demonstration purpose, we will reduce the dwell time to 3 seconds. This is out of standard, but will help reduce the duration of this test. By international standard, the dwelling time must be shown in the results when it's lower than 10 seconds, which we can see here. Then, after adjusting the focus manually or using the autofocus function, we can look at the full sample by using the overview camera. Our goal for this test is to automatically map the hardness of the sample. In particular, we will focus on the area around the weld. We first move back to objective camera with 2.5 times magnification and we make sure that the edge of the sample is clearly visible. Then we go to the test pattern section and choose area module. By going to All Patterns and then Shape, we will access the Contour Scanning options. We can now press on Start. Once the scan is complete, a contour line will appear in the Pattern Editor. We can now create the indentation pattern. We want to cover the entire area with indents and we do this by dragging the corners of the mask. By holding down CTRL and left click, we can add more corners to the mask in order to adapt it to the shape of the sample. By going to Contour Custom Points and selecting Scanned Contour, points will only be distributed inside the scanned contour. From Grid Points, we can change the horizontal and vertical distance between indents and also the distance from the edge. We can show the point numbers by checking this box. From Grid Offset, it's possible to change the offset of columns and rows, indicated by the green dots on the pattern, and to rotate the grid of an angle. By clicking here, we can choose to rotate the whole grid or just the pattern. This is useful in order to adapt the pattern more accurately to the shape of the sample. Since we're only interested in studying the area around the weld, we can resize the grid. We save all the changes in the pattern and we click OK to exit the pattern settings. There is one last thing we want to do before starting the test. We should check that the lens selected for indent measurement, in this case 10 times, is perfectly in focus. This will speed up the testing process. We are now ready to begin the test, so we click on Start. The test is now done. We go to Diagrams and select Color Mapping. It is possible to visualize the color map in 2D, 3D and as overlay on the live image of the sample. The color map can be customized by showing contour levels, enabling auto range, 
and selecting the number of steps. Also, the wireframe can be made visible and the legend can be chosen to be in color or in black and white. Finally, the whole diagram can be included in the report. We can create a report by clicking on Report and Print. By doing this, we will not actually send the report to a printer, but only generate a report with results from the test. Click on Export and choose either PDF or Excel and click OK. If we want to archive the results inside the software, we click on Archive, give it a name and click OK. And the test is done.